welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing a updated makeup tutorial, sort of like my everyday glam. I realised that the last time I actually filmed this was months ago now. I think it was literally like four or five months ago, pretty recent after leaving the villa. So although it hasn't changed like a huge amount, obviously it's changed a little bit. I think anyway, to be honest, most of the products are quite similar, but I thought I would show you what has changed and what I am liking recently. This video is also kindly sponsored by Eyelash Emporium. I will get into those products when I go onto my eyelashes. They are really great and I'm loving them at the moment, so I will show you them when I get onto that. Let's get started. So obviously, let's clip my hair back. Milo, I don't want any grumping in this video. Right, so as you guys know, I always start off with my moisturiser. So I am using the Walida Skin Food. I use this in my last everyday makeup tutorial as well. It's amazing. A little bit goes a very long way. And I just put this all over my face. I actually love this. It is so thick. When I bought it and I saw that everyone was like braving about it before, I was really surprised at how... What are the chances of me filming this video and my dog deciding to literally eat its whole dinner? Anyway, yeah, so this is really good. It's really moisturising. I was really surprised at how thick it was. But it's sort of in a good way. I mean, at the start I was like, oh my god, it's literally so thick. But I ended up like absolutely loving it, so... Yeah, love that. Next up is my primer. So this is the All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer by Urban Decay. I'm not sure how I even got into this one, to be honest. Did I buy it? I can't remember when I bought this. Obviously, I did buy it. So this primer, I literally have no idea how I got into this. I just really like it. And I feel like patting your primer into your face makes it work more. Who knows? I've got it in my head that it does. So let's just go with that. Next up is my foundation. Right. So it's 4N and it's the Forever Skin Glow Dior Foundation. I just literally pump this on my face. I will be needing a mirror. So I'm going to use this little one here and I just blend. I am aware that this foundation is very dark on me, but it's the only one I have and I do have a lighter shade. I haven't tanned in ages now. I feel like when it's blended out and it's all into my skin, no one will ever know. I love, love, love this foundation because it is just so so it's not like too full coverage and honestly guys whenever i'm out the number one compliment that i get on my makeup all the time it, or just literally in general of me like the one of the main compliments that i get is oh my god like what foundation do you use and like about my skin so i feel like i definitely should do like a skincare routine for you all because i feel like you would like that but i don't have like a proper proper skincare routine as of yet but when i do i'm definitely gonna do one so on to concealer i use the nars radiant creamy concealer have done for ages look how crazy i look right now so have done for ages i use this and i also use the tarte shape tape as well so on the tarte website you're actually only allowed to order one or two i think it's one of the shape tapes so i ended up sort of um going against the rules and ordering little minis as well to last me a bit longer so i'm using a little mini one but obviously i normally use the big ones yes this is the tarte shape tape it in 22n light neutral and i put this under my eyes like so I just use that one under my eyes. I feel like it's really bright as well, which is nice. And obviously this one in custard. So this is the NARS Radiant Creamy down my nose on here. Love a bit of concealer. I feel like right now is what I need it because it will brighten up my face. And I feel like this is too dark on me, this foundation. <laughs> Oh yeah, so guys, I completely forgot to say what brushes I'm using. So for the foundation, I use the Zoeva 102 Silk Finish. And for my concealer, I will be using the Morphe M536, which is like a little concealer brush, which is good. So I'm just going to tap. Oh, 
and just like so that is the base love 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 right next up is powder so this powder that i'm going to show you i don't know whether i had it in the last one is literally a godsend i've used it before and i've gone back to it and i absolutely love it so this is the laura mercier secret brightening powder for under eyes so it's one it's number one the shade one and this is it so it's literally just a smaller version of my lovely translucent setting powder so it's a smaller one and it, honestly it's just so good for under the eyes i've got this eco tools brush that i have literally had for ages and i just haven't seen anything like it so i've just kept it and it's great so i'm just gonna put this under my eyes see that it's just amazing and to be honest i know it's for under the eyes but i do also just love it popping it in other places i do love my makeup looking really dewy so i know obviously some of you will have dry skin normal skin oily skin so i just powder for where it suits me i think i've got just normal skin but i like looking dewy so i don't powder as much but obviously everyone's got their preferences on their face so you girls do you so up next is bronzer so i've got my hula caramel here which i swear by obviously this is covered because obviously i wore this in love island i've taken off most of the tags but i haven't done it on this one so i'm going to use this which i absolutely love and i'm going to go get my bronze brush i'm not going to lie guys i do love doing cream contour as well but unfortunately i don't have that with me so obviously this is your time to do cream contour i usually just get um a dark concealer and i just pop it here 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 and just with my either concealer brush or my foundation brush i just make just dab it in and i feel like that does look amazing but unfortunately i can't show you that today so anyway now on to bronzer and i'm just i like just doing like a dabbing motion have you realized i love doing that for like every step so just dab 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 onto the forehead like that i love a really bronze look i always have and always will so i feel like hula caramel really does do that i love doing it on the nose i love doing it on the cheeks i love doing it on the forehead i sometimes even bring it down to really match my chest especially in this situation where obviously i do need to sort of fake tan but and then i go on to blusher so i don't think blusher has changed oh i'm so sorry actually i've got to say my bronzer brush that's the morphe e65 which is brill and then on to blusher i use the morphe m527 with my mac god i have had this for absolutely donkey's years fleur power and i just brush that through i am a sucker for blush so i love looking blush blush blushed i love looking blush 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 so i don't on my nose i don't on my cheeks i do it sometimes on my chin anyway so blusher is done i'm nearly done with the face now so now i'm on to highlighter so again i use this highlighter in the villa as well and i also used it in my last makeup tutorial so this is the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder um so it's just this one jesus christ guys this is used like it is used and i've i'm using the highlight blush by sephora which is amazing i think it came in a set to be honest when i was in america but i know not everyone actually likes highlight but i feel like i won't be able to live without it obviously each to their own and then i use a little shading brush by real techniques it's one of those really really small little pointy brushes and i just always always i watched it on nikki tutorials actually on youtube do like the end of my nose and here i know a lot of people say like you've put so much in the end of your nose but in person it actually doesn't look bad i think it makes my nose look smaller well it says nikki tutorials was like it makes my nose look smaller and i was like hey queen it makes my nose look smaller so next up i've got my setting spray so for setting spray i just match with my primer it's the urban decay all nighter ultra glow long lasting setting spray i've got the little mini because they didn't have the big one in stock obviously it's just the same thing spray all around and i just 
fan it with my hands. That's another uh, trick from Nikki tutorials actually. And just like so, my face base is all done. Now on to eyebrows. So for almost a year now, I've been using the Refi products. I've got all three of them. So what I do is I get the dark brown pencil. I brush through. I will need a mirror to see closer up. I brush through. And then I get this one, which is the one with the, there's a pot the other side and then a little brush and you dip the brush in. I like actually on the palm of my hand, just sort of spreading the product around so I don't have too much on the brush. And that's a really good little trick I've learned. And then I outline the bottom of my eyebrows. I remember back in the day when people used to have like separate, I feel like they still do if, you, if you're you like a makeup channel, like separate eyebrow tutorial. Like I remember back in the day when I loved YouTube, I always used to watch that. But I do feel like eyebrows for everyone is different and I feel like people suit different eyebrows. You could be like really suit big fluffy brows, which I know is such a thing. Or you could really suit really small brows. It's really up to your face shape. But I do feel like eyebrows are so such a big part of everyone's makeup. And then I just brush this through with the end of the first pencil that I use, just to sort of distribute the product a bit more. And then I get the brow gel from the white one, which is step three. I actually think there's steps actually on the website. And this gel, I think this is really what sold me to refi because this gel is like something else. It's, I've never known a gel like this before. I've used a lot of eyebrow gels before in my past and I feel like this gel is just so good. You can make them really fluffy or you can make them whatever you want with the gel really. So that is the brows. So that is just how I do my brows. Whoa! The setting spray is going everywhere. That is how I do my brows. Now on to carving out my brows, which I do all the time, which I know not everyone does do actually. So I just get a bit of concealer. I put it on my hand. I genuinely feel like an artist. You know how they've got those palettes and they put all the different colors on? That's me with my arm. You know what? I've actually just bought a um, carving brush, which would be actually so much better for this, but this is what I used to use and what I will be using now. I do feel like not everyone actually does this, but I feel like it's such a big part of my makeup. And just like so, I've carved out my lower brows and that's how easy it was. I actually used the Zoeva Lux smoky shader which is definitely not for that but what happened was i actually lost the little brush that i use i've ordered a new one it has come but i'm using this one i'll show you the one that i actually have ordered though here we go the sigma concealer that is what you should be using guys that's what you should be using but you could be like me and just go with the flow and do something completely different right next up i'm on to my eyeshadow so now i use the Too Faced the natural nudes palette have done for i would say years but i actually think it is years i haven't moved from this palette in ages it's been very worn and torn so i'm just going to use the swan shade which is the sort of light one i'm using a big dome fluffy brush from real techniques and i put that all over the lid like so and if we're doing an every day, I use the same brush. Every day is like, boom, 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 get it done, you know? Oh, and I forgot to say what I'm actually doing. So I mixed, is that maple and cocoa? Maple and cocoa. I just dab, dab, and I just sort of do like a really natural smoky eye every single day with the same brush. Every day is very just quick, what you wanna get done. Whatever you gals or boys are going up to, you know, just quickly get it on the face and go. So I make sure actually when I do my eyeshadow, I bring it up to my nose. I know that's also a big thing in my makeup where I just have to bring it up to my nose. I feel like it's great for the nose contour. Yeah, it just looks good. So that is that. That is just my normal eyeshadow. If I want to, I sometimes get this little brush, which is the Luxe Petite Crease, or any 
brush. I had another one as well that I love using. And I just sort of put that under my eyes. I definitely do it more glam looks, but well, I sort of just do the outside of the eye, hair and hair. And then I'm just gonna go and get like a really small brush. This is actually the one I've used before, which is just the little real techniques. And I'm gonna get um, the highlighter that I used, which is just the Wet n Wild one that I used before that definitely needs replacing. And I'm just gonna pop this in my inner corner, here and here and my brow bone. Love. Because I want to talk really in depth with you about my eyelashes that I'm gonna use because they're just so fab, I'm going to quickly do my lips now. So the rest of the video is about eyelashes, which you definitely wanna watch. So I'm just using the cork uh, lip liner. Cork lip liner from MAC, which is incredible. Abu Dhabi NYX Butter Cream Gloss as well, which is amazing. This lip combo is amazing and it's actually a new one, so it wouldn't be on the last makeup tutorial. And Fenty Gloss in, I think it's Fussy, oh no, it's Sweet Mouth. Fussy is amazing as well. And that is most of the makeup done, but the best bit is soon to come. So guys, this is the most exciting part of the video. So as I said before, Eyelash Emporium has kindly sponsored this video, which is so, so exciting. I have been buying their products for years now, so I'm so excited to actually show you this. So this is the Eyelash Emporium Pro Seam Lash Deconstructed Strip Lash Kit. So it's to be applied underneath the lash for a seamless finish. 3D faux reusable times three. So you can reuse it three times. So this is what the lash kit actually looks like. As you can see, it's really beginner friendly. Obviously, you don't need to be doing a full face like I've just done for you to use these because they really do look like lash extensions. Obviously, you know that I am a sucker for lash extensions. So this is absolutely perfect for me. I love that natural look. And as I said before, they actually go underneath the lashes. So this is really, really exciting. I have not seen a brand do this before. So shout out to you guys. And I would never show you anything I don't believe in. And I definitely think that these, I'm sorry, I am really particular about lashes and I feel like certain lashes always look very fake and I love how these are so fluffy so wispy and yeah let's just get started up to 24 hour wear and they're vegan it's just a bit of a no-brain really so I'm going to go and open the lash kit so as you can see I've got winged and wispy here and I've got full and fluttery here so I wonder which one I'm going to go for I think I'm gonna go for full and flattery. That's a bit of me. What I absolutely, absolutely love about this, like I can't stress enough how much I actually love the fact that these are actually deconstructed. So you don't need to get your scissors out. You don't need to be, you know, working away trying to cut up your eyelashes like we always do now because that is a vibe. No, they've done it for you. Also another thing, I've never seen an eyelash company do, so there you go. So first of all, I'm going to brush the adhesive. So it comes with a little adhesive thing in the pack. As you can see, the lash adhesive has two ends. One is the clear side that I use today and one is the black side, which is for a more dramatic look. I'm going to brush this under my eyelashes. I'm gonna do one eyelash at a time, guys, just so you guys can properly see. Brush, brush, brush. So now you allow the adhesive to go tacky and that will take about 30 seconds. Actually, in that time, I'm going to get the little blue tweezers that are really, really cute that comes with the pack. And I'm gonna start taking my little wispies. So you start from the outer corner and you apply the flips. I'm just gonna get this one. Right, so first one's done. So next one. Oh my goodness. So guys, so I'm applying them under the eyelashes, so not on the lash line, underneath. This is just so me, because I love eyelash extensions and this is just a complete game changer. And if you guys are seeing how easy this is as well, I'm literally, obviously it's a bit scary when it's not just the normal eyelash sort of technique, but wow, wow. I can't wait to show my friends. 
This is just like the coolest thing ever, 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 ever. I think this is like literally a game changer. Okay, I'm sorry everyone, but that was literally the easiest thing ever. So now you just get this and you clamp them together. So I'm just using the same tool, really easy. Oh my goodness, me. This is just incredible. I'm gonna zoom you in. So guys, I know this is very close, but this is up close and this is without. I'm gonna show you underneath. Hopefully you guys can see. I absolutely love these lashes and I really hope that you guys love them too. They are honestly amazing. So I'm gonna go and do the other lash here. So as before, I just get this, I brush through my lashes, make sure they are coated. Milo! Right, so obviously my lashes are all coated. It is so exciting because obviously it literally looks like an eye, like eyelash extensions, which is the most exciting part about it. And I can't tell you how easy it is as well to put on. Obviously I know people as well that love putting on their eyelashes without an applicator and you can actually do this without, look, getting my finger. You can just do it without. It's Honestly, so easy. I just can't go over how much they look like um, eyelash extensions. So guys, I'm just gonna quickly clamp the others just to make sure they're all nicely secure. Just like so. Zoom in again. If you guys can't see on camera how much these look like lash extensions, then honestly, you need to buy it to see because wow. I am just like always so shocked when I use these lashes because obviously I just can't go over how much obviously they look like eyelash extensions. It's absolutely nuts. And obviously, as said before, you don't actually need to wear makeup. I love eyelash extensions myself and I never really wear them with makeup. So these are a complete game changer. I also have friends which are actually allergic to eyelash extensions. So I know that's a really common thing. This is your lifesaver, basically. So that is the makeup all done. I am so, so happy with it. So this is just my everyday glam. I would then go on and just, you know, take content in this makeup do everything in this makeup really i've been loving this makeup recently i don't know how different it is from my last one but i actually don't think it's too different which is good it's products i like and i use so i hope you guys like them too i've taken out the clips and i hope you guys all loved watching my updated everyday makeup tutorial i think it is great it really works for me and i'm so happy that i get to share it with you and thank you eyelash emporium for sponsoring my eyelash part of the video honestly i won't tell you guys something if i didn't believe in it and these eyelashes as you can see for yourself are just so amazing not only what they've done is just so different and i've never seen it before also the fact that the actual eyelashes are such good quality they are wispy they're not like straight lashes that look really sort of plasticky they're really really nice nice fluffy eyelashes which i absolutely love so good luck guys using this kit it is so much fun and so easy to use and yeah you'll know this is what i'll be wearing on all my instagram pictures recently as well um so yeah thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one bye